Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim! Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness, I am so excited. And look, that right there. Oops, uh, let me sheet that. Uh, that right there uh, is where we had fought the dragon and... Oh my gosh, yeah, I, I, I still cannot believe how amazing that was! But hey, everybody, sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and enjoy <laughs> this next episode of Skyrim. Oh, this is such a momentous day because we are going to go get the um, uh, Elder Green, the, the sap that we need for the tree back in Whiterun. <laughs> so, okay, now how do I get down from here? Hmm. Well, you know what? Uh, we have a little ways to go yet. We check out our map. This is where we're at, and we need to go here to retrieve the Elder Gleam sap. So I'm gonna go this way, and then... Oh, no, um, no, I, I, I... Mm, can I get rid of that? Well, I'm just gonna ignore that custom destination. I don't know how to fix it. But, um, that's okay. That's just, it's fine. Uh, oh, and there's mammoths over there, too. Which, oh, look. Look at that area right there. Do you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Yellowstone with the, um... And mammoth hot springs, which it makes perfect sense that there are mammoths nearby. <laughs> well, uh, that's a burning area, and I'm actually going to uh, ignore that. Um, I do not want to face any giants here today, so we're just gonna... It'll be fine. It'll be very fine. <laughs> oh, what a pretty, pretty area. And we've done it. We found the Elder Grim Sanctuary. And the evil... Okay. Alright, Maurice? Maurice? Where did you go, Maurice? Are you ready for this? Maurice? Oh, I, I lost our follower here. <laughs> oh well. That's fine. Oh, hello, Maurice. Oh, you made it. Okay, I wasn't sure if you were going to or not. There we go. never been in here before, so I have no idea what to expect. I have this already here, and I am sneaking. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh my goodness, look at this place! <gasps> it's so beautiful! I love it! But I can't shake this feeling that something is about to go down. Right, Embrace? This is super creepy. What is this? Oh, it's so fantastical. Hello there, friend. You come to enjoy the sights and sounds of this sanctuary? Um, yes, here. I'm gonna talk to you now, Sand. Welcome to Elder Gleam Sanctuary, my friend. Huh? Okay. Well, he didn't really say much now, did he? Hmm. Um, yeah. I don't know what else is around here, or if I should be following him or not. It's quite gorgeous. I mean, look at all the thermal features and everything. Oh, this place is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Okay. Shh, Maurice. Shh. I wonder if those blue things, they're... Oh, wow. <laughs> amazing. That is amazing. Oh, that's so beautiful. Coming up here. Can I? Can I? Please? Okay, I gotta get up there. Why? Why won't you let me get up there? Amazing that such beauty could exist in a place as desolate as the volcanic tundra. 
yes, this is such gorgeous. So gorgeous. But what is this place exactly? You are an Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinneret has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? Oh yes it is. Very much. And and that tree over there, is that the Elder Gleam? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Oh really? Well why ever not? As you can see, Eldrigleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trunk. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Eldrigleam herself would lift her roots for, more out of fear than respect. Really? You mean this one? The rumors are true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. Okay, um, but... But I was told to go ahead and do that. I mean, so that we can help make the other tree in White Rum all better. I mean, okay. Well, let's talk to this guy again. Well, don't come any closer. Yeah, you have nothing don't useful. What? You know what, Maurice? All this talk and the warning about the Nettlebane? I bet. I bet. That if I pull that out, we can get through. I'm gonna try it anyways. It's, I mean, what else do I have to do? Eh? 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Alright. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that! We're gonna make it through! If I don't keep missing. <laughs> Yay! I had no idea you were a woman of violence. What exactly are you intending to do here? Um, I only when necessary. I mean, I need to get Sap to fix the Gildergrand. This is how I'm going to do it. You would violate this marvel of Kinneret's glory to fix that half-breed stump in White Run? That's abominable. Barbaric. Stump. I'll have no part of this. Why didn't you tell me what you intended? I didn't realize that you'd be so opposed. I mean, I'm just getting some sap. But do you have uh, any other better ideas? Well, yes. There really? is something. It oh. won't repair the tree back at the temple, but we could bring them a new one. Oh! Oh, I really like that! Yeah, bring him a new tree, and that way it can grow up much better. Oh, yes, yes. Follow me. I think I can convince the tree to help us. Absolutely. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> I get to see a initiate at his work. Oh, the tree is very beautiful. The Elder Gleam has blessed us with a sapling. You should take it to Whiterun. Danica will want to see that the true blessings of nature lie in renewal, not a slavish maintenance. Oh, yes. I really love that. I appreciate that option. Thank you, Maurice. What are you going to do now? I believe I'll stay here and bask in Elder Gleam's warmth a bit longer. Good luck on your travels. May Kinnereth's wind carry only the sweetest scents. Yes. Oh, you as well. Thank you, Maurice. Thank you. Let's go ahead. Thank you, Elder Cream Tree. Thank you. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm sure you won't mind if I harvest like a few flowers. In my dreams. It is much, very beautiful, very beautiful. Absolutely. Oops. Um. No. No. We're we're not gonna we're not gonna take the sap. It's fine. Oh, and you know what? At least with the nettle bane, we're allowing more individuals like you be able to come up to the tree now, which is fabulous. <laughs> so I am going to head on my way back to Danica to White Run, uh, so that way we can go ahead and give her and tell her the good news that uh, we found a better way. We found a much better way. Thank you so much, Maurice. It's just so amazing. <laughs> Ah, back in White Run. Oh, I just, I love this place. Just the beauty and everything. 
Plus Bree's home is here, my lovely, you, lovely course, new I home. Feel. But here, it's time to go to Danica so that we can give her this glorious, glorious sapling to replace like this you. poor dying tree here. And such as it is, such as it goes. Once, when there's life, there's death, and death, there's life. <laughs> now, let's see, oh, Miss Danica. Okay, you're in here. Hey, Danica! Got some for you! Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? No, I don't have a sap for you, but I have a sapling! But I can't run the temple without the support of people who are inspired by the Gilder Gleam. How can this little tree bring new worshippers? Oh, well, you gotta have faith here, Danica. And Maurice also said renewal is more important than maintenance, and you gotta go with that. I. You're right, of course. I know. It can be hard to hear the winds of Kinareth when all you hear are the rabble in the temple. That's true. Death feeds new life. I'm sure that in time, this little sapling will grow into a new Gilded Green that will tower over White Run. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yay, we did it! We Today, did it! Kinareth be with you. <laughs> and with you as well. As our feud with Clan Grey Mane. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yay! It was not what she had wanted, but, you know, it's better for the tree. <laughs> so we have another quest knocked off our list, which is super cool, super amazing. Now, um, now we have some choices. I know I really want to go to Riften, but it may be a good idea to also get some vocal training. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a, a aspiring musician myself. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and go home here for a second. <laughs> Drop some things off, maybe pick some things up and uh, get recovered? out of my house, guard! Will live again. I did not invite you! Goodbye! Go away! Thank you! Okay, that was creepy. Hello, Lydia. <laughs> Alright, this this place is still kind of a dump, but um yeah, I'm gonna go through things and uh, let's check out our quest. Because now we can we finish the blessings of nature. Look at all the ones we've finished! Oh, so cool! <laughs> but we also have a lot of things to do. I mean, the way of the voice. That, that's... I would love to do that. And, get, and I think that's on the way to Riften. But then once we get here... Or, not here. Here, to miscellaneous. We... The face sculptor in Riften. I mean, that's super creepy and everything, but... You know, it, it, it'll get us to the right place. And there's always that bandit leader. I think I've tried three or four times to take care of that bandit leader in Hall's Extreme Camp. And I can't seem to find it. So, <laughs> it's just kind of funny. But I think what I will do is, yeah, base off some suggestions to go ahead and work on the way of the voice. And speak to the Greybeard. So, I'm going to get some supplies and then move on with that. So I've decided I want to see if I can furnish my house with something. So I need to find... Is it... I serve Jarl Balgrim. Yes, it's you, Provencius. Jarl is, as you can I want imagine. to decorate my home I'll a bit. I'd be glad to help you. Yay. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. Of course I have the coin. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. I have a guide. Now, what would you like to purchase? I totally forgot about that guide. But I'm thinking I want to get kitchen furnishings. Oh, and a bedroom, a kid's bedroom. That would be nice. Let's do this. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. Please? Next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Yay! Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Yes, I do. I want a kid's room. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. <laughs> the next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will Yay! be in place. Thank you, Preventus. Like oh my gosh, I want to go back to Bree's home now because I'm sure it's totally done, even though I just spoke with him right now. Um, I also need to go and get some arrows. I only saw that I had maybe 21 or 25 arrows. Uh, I probably spent a lot of them fighting that last dragon, so... <laughs> you know, you know how that goes, but... Dragons? Yeah, I just, yes, dragons. I said dragons. <laughs> it's amazing, just, just the words that come out of my mouth. And then just some random people happen to hear them, and then they get all freaked out or interested or whatever. I'm like, okay, it's fine, it's cool, but I really, I really want to have a kid's bedroom because I want to adopt that little sweetheart. She totally makes my heart melt. 
<laughs> okay, we're back in Brazil. Uh, huh? Do I have a kitchen? Oh, I do. I do have a kitchen. It's a good start. It's a good start. I mean, it's, there's not much here, but it's it's fine. Okay, that's awesome. Well, where? No, this is a loft. Is there a bedroom? <gasps> oh my goodness! Look at this! Oh my gosh! This is amazing. Okay, okay, that is so cool. <laughs> And look, there's even bread for you to eat Long now. You, yeah, isn't that amazing, Lydia? No, you can you can enjoy, you can eat and all that. And um, I was kind of hoping there'd be more stuff in here. It'd be a little bit fancier. But that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I want to make the place a little bit more... Um, a little bit fancier. Because it's... Yeah, it's, it's not much there right now before I can get a kid. Did you know there are some fruits that actually grow better in the cold weather? I believe that. You're yeah. like me, eh? Don't fancy those clubs. But here, right now, what we are doing, we have to go on our way. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, forgot the arrows. We have to get arrows, and then we'll be on our way. <laughs> so I am here near the Elder Green Sanctuary, I decided this was probably the quickest way to get over to my goal, to Iversed, so that I can speak with the Greybeards. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was quite a trek, but I made it over here from Whiterun, so that's good. But, uh, now, I've just crossed a river, and I'm going to check out to see what all is going on up here. So, oh, okay, here's a road. This is fine, but I need to go up there. I'm gonna continue my traveling, and we'll see, you know, what I come across. And hopefully this is a good way <laughs> to get to where I need to go. Because, uh, everyone, you all know about my sense of direction, right? <laughs> right? At least I have this lovely arrow I can follow. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. I've discovered this. Of course, you know, I even have an arrow and, you know, where to go to things. Really easy map, and um, I still can't figure out where I'm going. <laughs> well, I will come back to that later, because that is not my goal at this point. <laughs> I need to go speak to the Greybeards. I didn't know you could find ores around here. <gasps> that is really cool. Huh. Well, that's good to know. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Oh, really? Okay. Good to know. Dalos guide you. And you as well. Oh, gosh! Where did you all come from? Oh, I guess this is a road. Yeah! I'm here in Iversed. Hello, okay. Iversed. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? Huh? I am the return of the Dragonborn, but okay. I can always use food. So I'm going to grab some of these because I'm sure that uh, the Greybeards are sleeping probably right about now. So it doesn't certainly have to get some more cabbages since I've made all mine into soup. Oh, wait a minute. I come here to Iverstead and now I have to go up to this mountain. <laughs> oh my goodness. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? That's right. About to make a delivery up there myself. Really? What type of deliveries do you make to High Hrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. Makes sense. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. I do. And what do you get in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. 
Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. 7,000 steps. Well, I'm going to be climbing those 7,000 steps, and I bet it seems more like a million. But yeah, I could do that for you if you like. Really? Yeah. Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. All right. That's not so bad. I can do that for you. Any other information you can tell me about the High Hrothgar? I've just recently found out I need to go speak with them. I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Really? Not that I'd care to. Why? Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Okay, well, I'm certainly not going to provoke them, and if they yell at me, I'll yell at them back. What should I watch out for while I'm climbing? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. That's good. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Thanks for your help. I appreciate be it, Clement. up there. I will. Onward we go. And... You know, this is, this is a great time, actually, uh, before I go ahead and climb the 7,000 steps. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm, I am going to call that this episode here for today. I'm going to wait until tomorrow to uh, climb those 7,000 steps. But we are here in Iverset, and we are ready for the next adventure. If you like what you saw, please smack that like button. Be sure to subscribe, because it does totally help out our channel. <laughs> Check us out on Twitter at RogueAlchemist underscore and share, share, share because you, yes, you are all amazing. And we'll see you on the next episode of Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls. Bye-bye. <laughs>